Hello and welcome to our lesson on modelling direct proportion. So two units are in direct proportion if they both increase or decrease at the same rate. And we can model direct proportion algebraically and graphically. In this example, the height of a tree with h metres is in direct proportion with its age in y years. So as a tree is planted, it is brand new, the height will be zero. And as the age increases, the height will increase. So we will have a linear relationship between the height and the age. And we can model this relationship algebraically using a new symbol, which means in direct proportion. And we can write this as h is in direct proportion to y. The height is proportional to the number of years. But now we need a new letter called k. And k describes how the two units are in proportion. We call k the constant of proportionality. And we can calculate this value using the information in the question. A 10 year old tree is 16 meters tall. So this tells you that when the height is 16, the number of years, y, is 10. And we can substitute these values into the formula h is equal to k times y. h is given to us as 16, k we're trying to find, and y is given to us as 10. We can find out what k is by dividing both sides by 10. The 10s will cancel, so we're left with k is equal to 1.6. This means that the height it's found by multiplying the number of years old by 1.6. So this is the model for the variation. We can use this model to calculate the height of a tree when it is 14 years old. The height is equal to 1.6 times the number of years. The height is equal to 1.6 times 14. So at 14 years old, the height is 22.4 meters tall. Okay, let's try another question. So in this question, the temperature of water cools in direct proportion to the time in minutes. The temperature we're calling T and the number of minutes we're calling M. And it is in direct proportion, so we use the symbol again. And this tells you that the two units are in proportion. Now we need to use K to tell us how they are in proportion. And we can see now over six minutes there is a drop of 18 degrees. So here we have T is equal to 18 degrees and M is equal to 6. And we can substitute these values into our formula. So 18 is equal to K multiplied by 6. And we divide both sides by 6, we can work out the value of k. So k is equal to 3. So our equation connecting t and m is t is equal to 3m. For every minute, the temperature will drop by 3 degrees. Calculate the change in temperature for 10 minutes. We can use our formula t is equal to 3m. We know that m is equal to 10. So t is equal to 3 multiplied by 10, which is the m value. The change in temperature is 30 degrees. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we have a h varies directly as m. And this means that h and m are in direct proportion. Do you want to try and do this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, so we have H is in direct proportion with M. And this tells us that the two units are in proportion. We need to use K to tell us how they're in proportion. And we can use when H equals 6 and M equals 2 into our formula. So 6 is equal to K times 2. 
we divide both sides by 2, we work out k as equal to 3. And now we can use this value of k into our formula, h is equal to 3m. To work out h when m is equal to 5.5. So h is equal to 3 multiplied by 5.5. h is equal to 16.5. And for part b, we're going to use the same model. h is equal to 3m. But now we have a h is equal to 12. So 12 is equal to 3m. Divide both sides by 3. And m is equal to 4. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.